I've been wanting to try this place for so long, Clockwork Rose Tea Emporium. We're finally trying it out. The decor was super cute. It was really pretty. And it had a fun Charles Dickens themed menu, lots of savories, um, treats. You get a little make your own gingerbread man activity here. So this was something different that was really fun to make your own gingerbread men. My little creation. Okay, I got the white Christmas tea. Mom got the holiday tea. And the first course is the potato leek soup. I think they said it's a primavera potato leek soup. And I just love the napkin. Towards the center in the ramekins, the square one has your herb stuffing, the round ones have your glazed carrots, and then in either corner you have your turkey tart pie or your leek and cheddar quiche, and then on the very outside you have your Cornish pasty and your duchess potatoes. Okay, and then mid-tier you have um, real potted cream, homemade lemon curd, and raspberry jam to go with your pumpkin scone and your orange cranberry scone. And up top for desserts, in the glassware, we have a fresh fruit trifle made with angel food cake, vanilla mousse, blueberries, and raspberries. Then we have our peppermint meringues, our treacle tarts, and then the snowflake pie has your minced mint in it. Great. Thank you so much. You. So it was definitely quite an impressive spread. Glazed carrots. This is the Duchess potato. Okay, so far, by far, the stuffing is my favorite. This is a leek quiche. I didn't really like this, but it looked cute. So this is the Cornish pastry. This is the turkey pot pie. The fruit trifle is a five out of five. That was very, very tasty. My favorite thing was the stuffing. So we had tea for the first time at Clockwork Rose Tea Emporium in Beaverton. And I think I had this too hyped up in my mind. It's very expensive. It's much more expensive than other tea places. It's difficult to get a reservation. You have to prepay. I mean, there's just a lot of like kind of obstacles to go to this place. So I had super high expectations. We went to this special Christmas tea. Um, it's supposed to be like Dickens style Christmas tea. It was pretty good as far as the savories were concerned. Um, we both picked, I picked the white holiday tea and my mom picked the holiday tea. Neither of us liked our teas, which was not great. Um, the decor was super cute. Uh, I loved the herb stuffing and I loved the berry trifle. Those were definitely five out of five. It was nice. I was trying to like justify like the price being that it's $70 before gratuity per person. And I do feel like you do get a lot of savories. It does fill you up. Um, the savories are all served warm, which most other tea places do not serve. If anything, they serve like maybe one or two things warm. So that was nice and it's a lot. I mean, it's definitely like plenty of food, but I just wasn't blown away. Like I wouldn't be able to give this a five out of five. I would be able to give this maybe like a four out of five. I mean, it was good. I just think the pricing, the reservations thing, the decor is super cute in there. Um, and the place we sat was really, really comfortable. It was like an actual, um, like velvet, like booth thing that I sat on that was really comfortable. I feel like also the reason it's so expensive is they have a lot of help. So like there's a lot of employees in there uh -huh. and I feel like maybe that's why it's so expensive too. Our server was super nice, but he wasn't super attentive or anything. Like he didn't notice that either of us didn't like our tea. They do give you a glass of ice water though, which is nice. So we enjoyed that. So I would say we would come back and give it a try for maybe like the regular tea and see what that's like. It's really nice for us that it's in Beaverton. It's very close to where we live. We usually have to drive pretty far to go to tea. But I just think for the price, I was expecting something more spectacular. Um, and Me too. 
it just was, like I said, it was pretty good, but it wasn't like anything like amazing, especially when you consider some other tea places are almost like half the price um, and are very, very good too. So that is my review of the Clockwork Rose Emporium Tea House in Beaverton. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment if you loved it or if you didn't love it and have a great day.